I am Yemi Dalimo. A 24-member planning committee for the Maiden United Nations World Tourism Organization Global Conference will be hosted by Nigeria has been inaugurated by Information and Culture Minister Lai Mohammed with assurances that the events will provide Nigeria with the opportunity to showcase its assets in culture, tourism and the creative industry. Anthony Fossin reports. The planning committee, which will be chaired by the Information and Culture Minister, has the permanent secretary, Dr. Ifoma Adara Anyamutaku, as deputy chairman. Laya Mohamed explained that the right to host the inaugural edition of the global conference was given to Nigeria in a clear recognition of the country's rising profile in tourism, culture, and the creative industries, not just in Nigeria, but around the world. The creative industries which include arts and crafts, design, fashion, film, video, photography, music and performing arts have taken a central role in Nigeria and have boosted our tourism. Maintaining that the event will showcase Nigeria's best, project Nigeria's image as a safe and desirable destination for leisure and business. It will also consolidate on the relationship with the United Nations World Tourism Organization and its member states. The granting of the hosting rights for the global conference to Nigeria is a clear demonstration of the confidence of the NWT and its member states in the country's capacity to deliver. Recall that Nigeria has successfully hosted the meetings of the UNWTO's Commission for Africa four times. Now to politics. The people of Ekiji State have been urged to vote for the All Progressive Congress, APC, in the forthcoming governorship election in the state for the continuity of the good works of the present administration of Governor Kayode Fayemi. This was the message of the party's national leadership at the mega rally held in Adwekiti ahead of the Saturday's governorship election in the state. Ayodeji Okushaki has the report. The arrival of the APC governorship candidate, Biodun Abayomi Oyibanji, accompanied by the national leadership of the party, APC governors, including the party's presidential candidate and national leader, Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, set the tune of the mega rally. For a national chairman of the party, Senator Abdullah Adamu, chairman, governorship campaign council, Governor Atiku Bagudo of Kebi State, and other speakers called on the people of Ekiti State to allow APC to continue the transformation of the state by casting their ballot for the party's candidate on Saturday. They said the various programs of the APC-led government, which they are visible, should be considered by every voter on the election day. We want to see you come out the mass to vote for this country in order that Ekiti will do us proud. Great in all areas. Humble, compassionate, intelligent. Brilliant. He's accomplished and is an organized person. On his part, for a candidate, Biodun Abayomi Oyibanji wants AKT people to thumbprint APC on the ballot come Saturday. For a national leader of the party and the presidential candidate, Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, wants people of AKT states to use their voters' cards wisely and vote for Abayomi Oyibanji of the APC at the June 18 governorship election in Adoikiti, Ayodi Jugunshaki, NT News. Meanwhile, post one to the part to part six, paragraph fourteen of the electoral guidelines of the People's Democratic Party (PDP), the National Working Committee has approved the nomination of twelve party members to serve on the Vice Presidential Candidate Screening Committee for the screening and verification of the nominated Vice Presidential Candidate of the party for the 2023 general election. The party's National Political Secretary Debo Ulogwangba, in the statement, says. Tom Ikimi is the chairman of the committee. Other members include former governor of Kogi State, Captain Idris Wada, former minister of aviation, Usita Chidoka, Dr. Akilu Indibawa, 
A to serve as secretary while Mr. Sunday Omobo is the administrative secretary. The screening exercise holds at the National Secretariat of PDP on Thursday, June 16, 2022. Obu State Governor Dakpo Abiodun has commended traditional rulers in the state for playing a vital role in stemming the increasing tide of courtesy that has become a major social menace in Sagamu and its environs. Abiodun made this known while speaking at the Thanksgiving service of the 20th coronation anniversary of the Elekpe of Epe Shagamu, Upper Adewale of Shiberu, held at St. John's African Church, Shagamu. The governor promised that his administration will continue to partner with the traditional institutions towards providing security in the state to ensure adequate and effective system for the protection of the lives and property of the citizens. The governor who described the traditional institution in the state as essential in the enthronement of good governance being an agent that interfaces between the government and the people at the grassroots, charge them to continue to avail the government with the necessary information that will help to strengthen the security architecture of the state. In a sermon entitled Grace of God, Bishop of Lagos North, Diocese of the Methodist Church of Nigeria, writes Reverend Boy who, while noting that all things are under the grace of God, said that for the monarch to continue to excel, he must continue to abide in the secret place of the highest goal. The clergy also charged the Nigerian Governors Forum to work with the federal government in addressing the security challenges currently bedeviling the nation. The Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps of State Command says it has recorded successes in tackling insecurity, including pipeline vandalism, banditry, courtesy, kidnapping, among others, since the assumption of office of the State Commandant of the Corps a year ago. The State Commandant, Kola Oletai, who stated this during a program held to celebrate his one year of assuming the leadership position of the command in Ogun State. Look one, a defense of support is presented in this package. Ogun State Commandant of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Kola Oletai, who was posted to the command on June 14, 2021, explained that he leveraged and improved on synergies between the Corps and other sister agencies in the state, as well as the gallantry of officers of the command to achieve defeat in a lecture entitled Violence in the Society, School Children in Focus, the NSCDC commandants admonish secondary school students and youth to always be security conscious and resist any attempt to lure them into courtism as it will destroy their careers. Is it unbanditry? Is it uh, kidnappers? So, very many times we decide we comb all those forests and we are able to arrest a lot of these things. So, the members of the public or the state should be expecting more, more, more from us. Especially with what happened in our world. We have taken a lot of uh, uh, precautions and we'll be rolling them out. Former Commandant General of NSCDC, John Ulu Aboluri, represented, felicitated the Commandant and extolled his exemplary leadership qualities. No matter what he has seen, that has not disturbed him from doing his job. Nothing should move him to look back in doing the job. That he really wanted him to have much impact more in Ogun State. Proper and sincere accountability will always open a higher assignment for you than what the commander is doing. The event also witnessed enlightenment talks which centered on violence among secondary school students. The guest lecturer sensitized the students against social vices and character development, conflict resolution while also advising parents to train up their children well in atmosphere devoid of violence. We should not follow our friends. We should be confident and we should not take part in any violent activities. I have learned that we should be careful with a strange person. Certificates of participation were presented to students who were drafted from different schools across the states. To business news now, NNPC supplies 1.523 billion liters of fuel in three weeks as name registration surges over Simban. Details in our business news segment with Rhoda Unifadi. Let us update on
on the evacuation of the premium motor spirit popularly called Petro by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited shows that oil firm evacuated 1.523 billion liters of KMS between May 16 and June 5, 2022 in a bid to keep the country wet with fuel. However, the huge supply volume has not completely eradicated the queues formed by motorists daily in the filling stations in Abuja and environs. While many other outlets still do not dispense petrol due to the lack of products, figures obtained from the NNPC show that between May 16 to May 29, 2022, the oil firm recorded an average national evacuation of 69.04 million liters. This implies that NNPC evacuated about 966.56 million liters during the two weeks period. In the meantime, about 10.3 million Nigerians have been issued national identification number in the first five months of 2022. Data obtained from the National Identity Management Commission portals have shown. This brings the total number of Nigerians with NIN to 82.73 million as of May 26, 2022. And that's all on our business news segment. Over to you, studio. Thank you, Rhoda, for that package. I do not know that we wrap up the news for this half. We thank you for watching. Good afternoon.